All right, so moving along to our next session. Um, Jung-woo Kim is the head of core development here at Crypto Lab, where he leads the advancement of homomorphic encryption technologies and their applications. He holds a PhD in cryptography from Seoul National University and has prior experience in developing security software, including extensive work at Samsung Electronics. And since joining Crypto Lab, he has been at the forefront of innovation here at cryptography. Uh, Forefront of innovative cryptographic cryptographic solutions. So, uh, Chong Woo Kim, thank you, and take it away. <clears throat> thank you for the introduction. Uh, so it's it's hard time for me to wait for a long time. Uh, in this <laughs> early morning in Korea, <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to present about practical H encrypted uh, LLM, which we have been currently developing at Crypto Lab. Since running an LLM inference takes some time, I'll start the demo before diving into the main content. So this demo uses the Wikitext 103 dataset, which is based on Wikipedia. So let's begin by generating the keys. And then we encrypt the text uh, here uh, this is one of the data from the wiki text 103 based on uh, Wik wikipedia and we encrypt the first 100 tokens here uh, you can see this one uh, it's ending with her first book f and we will generate the next four tokens here and uh, so it takes some time i i return to this after finish my presentation <laughs> so, recently, interest in large language models has been increasing while everyone is paying attention to new models like ChatGPT and Llama. Utilizing them with private data remains challenging. This has led to increasing interest in private LLMs. Recently, some research findings have been published. Uh, however, these studies have focused on implementing models like BERT or GPT-2 using homomorphic encryption, which are significantly smaller than current LLMs. So we are the first to implement an LLM inference with a billion parameter size using end-to-end -end homomorphic encryption. First, let me briefly introduce the LAMA2 7 billion model we have implemented. LAMA2 7 billion is a transformer-based model, uh, specifically a decoder-only model. Uh, it has 32 decoders and a vocabulary size uh, 32,000. Uh, 32, we implemented it with a sequence length of 128. To generate a single token, it passes through 32 decoders. It's structured as shown in the uh, diagram on the right. Each decoder includes linear operations like uh, matrix multiplication, uh, as well as nonlinear non operations like RMS norm, uh, silo, and Softmax. So encrypted LLM inference means encrypting the embedding vectors here and processing the entire process while encrypted. After completing the 32 decoders, a single encrypted token is generated by performing linear layer softmax and argmax. By repeating this process, multiple encrypted tokens can be generated, and these can be sent to the client who can decrypt them. Thus, sensitive information is never exposed, maintaining confidentiality throughout the in inference process. We made various attempts to enhance performance from 
both hardware and software perspectives. On the hardware side, we utilized multiple GPUs to parallelize operations and accelerated bootstrapping on the GPU, achieving uh, approximately 50 milliseconds. On the software side, we optimized several nonlinear operations, and among them, the results of the softmax optimization will be presented at CCS24 on this Thursday, maybe tomorrow. And our work on accelerating matrix multiplication has already been presented at Crypto24 this year. Let me explain the performance of our encrypted LLM inference. We tested with 1,000 samples from Wikitext 103, a Wikipedia-based data set. We checked the perplexity metric, which is commonly used to evaluate generative LLM inference models, and found that it produced nearly the same result as plain text. Here I talk about the speed performance for the Lama 27 billion model. It takes 2.4 minutes to generate the first token and 1.7 minutes for subsequent tokens using eight GPUs. Currently we can generate uh, 0 0.01 tokens per second, meaning it, it's still challenging to use encrypted LLM inference in real time. However, GPU performance has improved 25 times over the past five years and homomorphic encryption libraries and AI models have been achieving tenfold performance improvement every five years. So we can expect to experience real time uh, real-time encrypted LLM inference within a few years. Uh, furthermore, furthermore, if hardware chip optimized for homomorphic encryption start being produced next year, we believe our expected timeline should be accelerated like the, this red line. Next, uh, I will explain fine-tuning LLM with homomorphic encryption. Fine-tuning involves developing a customized model for a particular data set or task. Using homomorphic encryption, it's possible to fine-tune models without leaking private data sets. This allows for developing customized models without exposing sensitive corporate data or personal information. To achieve rapid fine tuning while maintaining model performance, we developed a HE-friendly transformer architecture. If you are interested, you can refer to this paper, Encryption-Friendly LLM Architecture. We were the first to implement fine-tuning on a model like BERT, showing that it is indeed possible to fine-tune models using homomorphic encryption. We tested with various glue datasets, which are commonly used for evaluating language models and achieved performance similar to uh, that in plain text. These tasks included benchmarks like sentiment analysis, semantic similarity, grammar check, and question and answering. The speed for fine-tuning the BERT model was measured using eight GPUs. The time increases in proportion to the size of the training data set. Uh, with the RTE, RTE data set of size 2490, taking about 4.8 hours per epoch, 
uh, five epochs are considered uh, sufficient for fine tuning on a simple data set, meaning we can perform fine tuning once a, once a day with uh, about uh, 200, uh, 2,500 uh, data set. Currently, with the RTE data set of size about 2,500, we can run five epochs per day. In the coming years, we, we expect fine tuning to be possible within, within minutes uh, at, at some point. Of course, larger models or data sets will proportionally take more time. For example, if the data data set size or around uh, 10,000, it would take approximately four times longer than the figures mentioned here. On the other hand here, we used only eight GPUs and uh, we expect that using more GPUs would reduce the fine tuning time also proportionally. So, Going forward, we plan to pursue the following goals. First, we will explore LLM applications such as encrypted summarization and transcription. Next, we will implement fine tuning for LLMs with billions of parameters. Then we will apply model quantization methods to enhance efficiency. And finally, we will develop a scalable solution using multi-node environment to use uh, more GPUs, more than eight. So this is all my presentation. So now let's take a look at the demo research that we started at the beginning. So, oh, it, it's done. <laughs> The, the inference for four tokens is complete, and now I will decrypt the ciphertext. Sorry. <laughs> there, there is an error. <laughs> <laughs> so the input uh, 100 token was this, this sentence, uh, and the output is uh, lower fairies. So you can see that uh, uh, I, I don't know who he is, Mary Barker. So her, her first book is uh, Flower Fairies something. So you can check the original uh, Wikipedia text <laughs> and you, you can see that uh, the result is same with the, the original text. So there is no hallucination in this LLM. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Uh, this is all my presentation.